Prescribe fire in grass. Fire isn't always bad if it's used in a productive way. Using fire to restore the prairie. Outside science, inside parks. Series host, Jessie Grace in Grassland. In this episode of Outside Science, we catch up with a group of middle school students at Knife River Indian Villages. They're working to make this prairie beautiful again by reseeding after a controlled burn. Check it out. Sierra Moykin's Park Guide. So we had students come in today and we were teaching them about the park, about the history, and most importantly about prairie restoration. Middle school students. It's kind of cool just to learn about that kind of stuff. Yeah. Alicia Deegan, Resources Manager. The 5th, 6th, and 7th graders that came out to Knife River Indian Villages today, some are Hidatsa, Mandana, Rikara that have ancestral ties to the historic villages that are in Knife River Indian Villages. Mark Anderson, teacher. The vast majority are Native Americans, which is really cool. So a lot of the teaching that's going on here is relevant to their historical culture. Tara Lynn Gray, education technician. About a month ago, other individuals here at the park did a prescribed burn or controlled burn in order to prepare the land for the students who came in today. Alicia Deegan. We talked about fire ecology. In prairie ecology, it goes hand in hand. If we're talking about restoring a prairie, it's even more important. Middle school students. It feels really good, especially knowing that this was kind of the past and you're kind of um, helping it come back. Tara Lynn explains game. With the yellow headbands? You gotta run away. Run away from them. You Middle don't. school students play game. Before, we wanted to uh, get the kids out here to spread the seed. We wanted to teach them a little bit about what they were doing. And so we made an activity um, where they were playing tag. So they were being super active, but they were involved in learning um, what was a native species, what is an invasive species, why do we use prescribed fire, why is that all important and interconnected to help restore our prairies. Students raking and planting. We're raking these squares three by two and we're gonna plant these seeds and then next year we're gonna come back and then we're gonna see the plants that we planted. What's cool about this is we're helping the environment and our kids and their kids and their kids and their kids and... And so on. Having that ability to go back to a place where your ancestors walked and they lived is such a powerful thing, especially for um, indigenous students where a lot of the places are no longer there or they've been destroyed. So in Knife River, we have the Hidatsa, the tribe that lived in the area. We have the sites from where they lived. And if you don't have a physical landmark like that, people might just think it's a memory or it's something that doesn't exist now. It's important for people to be able to connect to this place because we need to preserve it for the future. And you can learn so much from the past. It's going to be um, a beautiful site. People, probably some of us, might come out here to see all the hard work be paid off. I'm probably going to end up doing it, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Check back each month for another episode of Outside Science, Inside Parks.